Yo, what's up folks? Welcome to another Blockhead How To. Today we're going to be relocating the gauge, um, like the picture here. So we're going to relocate it to the side. To start out, here's what we've got. We have a Joker Machine riser handlebar top clamp and a dog. Basically this keeps your uh, indicator lights center mounted on the handlebars. We also have a auto meter gauge clamp. That little uh, silicone piece, rubber piece is going to fit in here just like that to offer some shock resistance and you also have the mounting bracket just below that. So to get started you're going to remove the tank or basically lift the tank up. So remove that tank bolt right there, raise up the tank, prop it up on a piece of wood or something. Make sure none of the wires are being pinched or anything like that. Whenever you do remove everything, pop down a wire tuck on mine. You're going to want to remove these bolts as well with a hex bit socket. Now whenever you do remove these, be very careful. It does uh, release the clamp or pressure on the handlebars, so the handlebars are going to want to kind of move, wiggle back and forth like that whenever you do pull it off. It should rise up just like that. Pretty easy stuff, and there's a couple wires attached to the back of it. Go ahead and run those wires down, find where they clip in, and unclip it. You're going to want to remove the headlight as well to give you some room to pull out that wire harness. After you've removed the headlight, just kind of drape it down. You don't need to remove it totally, but you know, make sure it's not bumping anything. And then you should be able to pull out that gauge cluster and the wiring harness. Just like that. Easy peasy. To remove the LEDs, you're going to want to remove these two screws right here. They're both Phillips screws, pretty easy stuff. And we're going to remove those a little later for the gauge. Alright, so this is with the LED cluster removed. To get the little black piece of plastic that covers that up, you're going to want to press it there and there with the screwdriver and just pull forward. It should pop right out just like that. There's also going to be a thin layer of the film which has your little neutral oil and uh, indicator light shapes in it so you're going to want to pull that out just like that. It's going to be stuck to a piece of sticky adhesive which you can remove. To remove the gauge you're going to want to undo these hex screws should pop out just like that. Exposing the wiring harness underneath. To take out that wiring, you're gonna wanna pull outwards on the tabs just like this, and then it should slide right out just like that. Be sure not to pull too hard on the wiring. Also, you're gonna wanna remove this rubber seal, and it should release everything just like that. At this point, you have the gauge on its own. You're going to want to pull from the front and it should come out just like that. It will offer a little more resistance. So there we have it. The gauge is on its own. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to focus on the wiring harness. You need to take off this little piece of protective plastic. Cutting up the wiring harness. Be very careful not to cut any actual wires. If you notice, I'm doing very small snips. Remove that and you're going to be able to split your wires to about that far. Now don't pull anything too hard or force anything. Go ahead and use some silicone tape and wrap up the wires just like this, just like we did for the wire tuck. At this point you're going to grab that little film that you took off for your indicator lights and you're going to put it back onto the little indicator light bracket. You're going to place that into the new Joker Machine clamp or whatever new clamp you have and it should pop in just like that. It's pretty much impossible to line it up incorrectly because the holes should all match on the back or in the front as well. You can insert that LED back into there. That's what it's going to look like. I'm not screwing it down just yet. Just kind of making sure it fits. With the auto meter clamp around the gauge, this is what it's going to look like. I wrapped the gauge in some weatherproof silicone tape as well, just to weatherproof it that much more. I would highly recommend doing the same. You have the gauge all back together. It's uh, wrapped in the weatherproof tape. You've got the rubber seals on each side helping to seal it as well. And the wiring harness running up from the bottom. 
bracket that goes onto the gauge is going to look like this and it's going to go onto the autometer clamp just like this bolt and then the washer and then the clamp and then the bracket on the inside. Also, just as a heads up, you are going to need to drill out this front hole on the right side in order for it to be big enough for the bolt that secures the gas tank to go through it. All right, so it's all drilled out. Good to go there. It'll fit. Gone ahead and reattached it, and this is what it should like. You're going to tighten everything down, and it'll tighten down around the gauge securing it. So, this is it all tightened down and angled forward. Everything's all secured in place. Wiring is separated, should be good to put it back on the bike. So, you're going to go ahead and run the wiring back. Make sure you give yourself enough room, enough slack. Plug the wiring back into the harness, retrace your steps. Make sure it's plugged back in over here. Whenever we have it mounted up, it's going to look like that. Mount right there with that bolt. All right, so I went ahead and put the headlight back on, but I haven't tightened anything down. I have the LEDs for the indicator lights sticking up a bit, you know, giving me some room to work with. At this point, we're going to go ahead and put the LED indicator lights back. All right, so the LEDs are screwed back into the top clamp and we've got enough room. We're gonna line everything up and put the bolts back into the handlebar clamp. All right, so we've got everything kind of snug down. Just making sure we've got all enough room. That's what it's gonna look like. Whenever tightening everything down, it should look nice and flush. Make sure you have enough uh, slack in your wiring harness here as well, so that when you lower the tank. All right, so we went ahead and lowered the gas tank, making sure there was clearance for all the wires. We ran the bolt back through the tank ears and the frame and the bracket for the autometer clamp. Snugged everything down and everything lines up great. So after putting everything back together, we've got enough clearance on all the lines. Top clamp looks good. Go ahead and snug everything down. Make sure you're using Loctite. Harley shake, so use some Loctite. And this is what it looks like when you're all said and done. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this uh, how-to video helped you if you're considering relocating your gauge. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. As always, you guys ride safe, stay vigilant, and I will catch y'all later. Deuces.